This video was sponsored by DraftKings. This might be the next meta defense in Madden 23. It shuts down the run. Has airtight pass coverage. And gets sacks and interceptions all game. So if you guys want to see what brand new defense I'm using results like this, Thank you. stick around after the intro. The plays from today's video can once again be found in my Pittsburgh Steelers offense and multi-D defensive ebooks. If you guys want to see more money plays from these or any of my ebooks, all you have to do is click the links in the description or the top pin comment to have them sent to the email of your choice for instant download. The team that I'm using today is once again the Washington Commanders because this was easily my most requested team in the comments. This is a surprisingly good team, but their cornerbacks aren't very good. In this game, I'm going to be facing the best receiving core in Madden in the Dolphins. But before I get into the video, as always, if you guys are enjoying the content, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button let me know in the comment sections it really helps out the video and the channel and if you want to see me use your favorite team next let me know in the comment section what team you'd like me to use and i might use them in an upcoming video i start this game out on offense and i am mostly going to be using the same gun type doubles offense that i've been using for the last several weeks i'm mostly going to be focusing on defense in this video but i have put out several videos breaking down this offense so if you guys want to see more about this i will have links in the description as well as on screen pops at the end of the video so stick around for that i start the drive out with the halfback base which is probably my favorite run play in the entire game before switching to the bench on the next play for a huge first down that gets me in the scoring range before reading cover two on the right side and going right back to the same play for a score to take the early lead. The real challenge in this game is going to be on defense though and stopping these overpowered receivers. Time out! But first a quick word from today's sponsor DraftKings. Football season is right around the corner and I was really excited when DraftKings asked me to work with them as I have tried a lot of different fantasy apps over the years but DraftKings is the only one that I ever had success with while playing including several first place finishes over the years so I can't recommend them enough. This year DraftKings has a 10 million dollar best ball prize pool up for grabs. How to play best ball is easy it's just like regular fantasy football that you might play with your friends, family or co-workers. You draft a team at the beginning of the season and that's it. Each week you automatically rack up points from all of your top scores. No ads, no drops, no trades. No, I should have played him instead. You're able to just enjoy the fantasy football action without the need to manage your team. And the team with the most points by the end of the season will take home the $1 million top prize. To start playing DraftKings largest best ball contest ever, just download the DraftKings app, sign up using code MADDENMONEYSHOT, enter DraftKings best ball 10 and millionaire contest, and draft your team for the season. So what are you waiting for? Head to DraftKings app, sign up using code Madden Money Shot and start playing best ball today. Enter the DraftKings $10 million best ball contest and you'll get your first $10 entry back in DK dollars only on DraftKings with code Madden Money Shot. I start the drive by setting up my coaching adjustments as these are just as important to my success as the play itself. But for this defense, the most important adjustments are to set your zone coverage to match your curl flats to 15 and your regular flats to five. I also set my cornerback matchups to buy overall and my ball in the air defense to play receiver. My opponent wastes no time getting the ball to Tyreek Hill on the very first play on a jet sweep. So I'm gonna waste no time getting to the defense that today's video is about out of the 3-3 Cub. I've already put out several defensive videos about this formation, but in today's video, I'm gonna be focusing on a very unique setup that I I have been using out of the cover four show two that have been locking people down for substitutions i also like to put a safety at middle linebacker and the commanders have a 92 speed backup named percy butler who is perfect he tries to run the ball in the next play before i get the play set up but cover four is a natural run defense with no setup required as the safeties will always look to play the run as long as you don't guess pass before the play but on the next play it gives me a little more time to show the setup the only adjustment i make on every play is to repurpose the safeties one safety i will use as a man defender for whoever i want to cover most on that play and the other I will simply put into an inside third so that he can cover the hole that the other man defender creates. This setup looks a lot like a regular cover three now but it performs very differently and much better for several reasons. Number one, the outside cornerbacks play more like man coverage cornerbacks to whoever is in their area that passes 10 yards. This is very different compared to normal cover three cornerbacks who don't play very aggressive since they're basically programmed to play like safeties and not let anyone behind them. Number two, it's very hard to score a one play touchdown against this defense since the most common way to beat cover four defense 
defenses like this are by splitting the safeties. And now there are no safeties to split, as the inside third will pick up anything that comes over the middle. And last but not least, the three rack hook and quarter flats do a much better job than regular zones when it comes to covering things like crossers and slants, as you'll see throughout this video. As far as who I'm going to use the man coverage on from the safety, that can change every play, but I find it's best to man either the slot receiver or the superstar since they get the most work. And on this player, they're one the same as Waddle's already in the slot. On the next play, you can see that everything is locked up tight as my opponent is forced to try to take off with his quarterback. He comes up just shy of the first down, so on the next play, I pinch the entire defense expecting a run. I also hard flat right before the snap as I have my flat set to five to take away any short routes in situations like this. I bite on the play action, but since I'm using a really fast safety, I have enough speed to get back and cut off the only open route. Gotcha, bitch. That takeaway is pretty short lived though as I throw an interception on the very next play to give the ball right back. I decide to switch up the tempo on the next play and send the house, but that's never a good idea when your cornerbacks have this big of a speed disadvantage against guys like Tyreek Hill. Damn it. Back on offense, Sam Howell's accuracy gets me into a third and seven. <laughs> as I go right back to the bench play that I almost take for the score. Oh, he almost had it. Before I read cover to me on the next play, only to see him using the safety way out of position pre-snap. Break yourself, fool! Back on defense, he is now spreading me out in an empty backfield look, so with no real threat to run, I can now guess pass and use the outside blitzing linebacker. And once again, nothing is open as he throws it up to two different defenders. No! Who didn't want an interception. He runs the ball in the next play to get to third and five before he tries to run the screen, only to get buried in the backfield. <laughs> to get into fourth and 18 that he probably shouldn't go for from here, but hey, this is Madden. Back on offense. That's just too easy. I continue to double Tyreek Hill and back off the man defender, but his speed is a cheat code that breaks all the rules as he still just runs right past everyone. Oh, you mother <laughs> okay. But he doesn't score, and on the next play, I man the safety to the superstar in the slot one more time, and guess where the ball goes? Thank you. We don't on my ride, but I drive it. If you guess the other way, you want a prize. As we take a commanding lead, get it, commanders? No? We are commanders. But one of the things that makes this defense so overpowered, like I said earlier, is what the quarter flats do. Since this is a matching zone, they will match in situations like this instead of just dropping straight back like mindless drones. As he doesn't drop at all in this play, instead dropping inside over the middle and making a play on the ball. He tries to run the next play, tried, before going back to Mr. OP himself on the next play. On the next play, the right tackle shows my outside linebacker a lot of respect. But who needs skill when you can just send everyone on a streak with the fastest offense in Madden history? What a pussy. As he then decides to go for two for some reason. Sit your ass down. He gets the ball back after halftime and he tries to run again on the next play, but this defense takes care of that for me for the most part before dotting uphill in a crowd of five defenders and almost getting him killed. Coverage is telling the next play as he goes to his other overpowered star receiver, only this time the four extra defenders are too busy blocking each other. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through special needs. And let him run right past for the score. We are commanders. Back on offense, I go back to the Z spot once again for the big first down as I suddenly feel like I need to score. He gets me into a third and eight before my tight end is just too strong out here for these corners. As I go to him on back-to-back -back plays to get inside the 10. From here, I just pound the rock a few times to both kill clock and get inside the five before trying to go back to the tight end from the Z spot one more time. <laughs> I get stuck on a DT on the next play, and I'm about to put Deron Payne at cornerback because apparently he's the only guy that can cover Waddle. No! We get him into another third and long, but Hill bails him out once again to light up Tyreek Hill's X Factor, only for Kyle Fuller to snuff it out. Well, I bet you here. Dude has rack him up, not double me, bro. And now I'm just running the ball. Before I see, he is in cover too, so I switch to the shot fade cross, put the Y route on a streak. Break yourself, fool! And wait for the rage quit. Oh, you're gonna rage quit. He completes a few passes here and there and gets down the field, calling all of his timeouts on the way. Before the quarter flat plays like a superhero once again to end the game that was already over. So that's that's the vid. Give this defense a try and let me know in the comment section what you guys think. But trust me, you'll be running into this defense online a lot more in the future because I think it's that good. Other than that, if you want to see more from the offenses and defenses that I was using in today's video, I will have them popping up on screen. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. My shit out. 
Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.